We're in Florence for a month. For a whole month. Yes. We're super excited about it. And um, we're going to see what happens after that. We might go more places. We might travel in the U.S. We might travel more internationally. But this is the start. A month in Florence. Yeah. We're living out of our suitcases <laughs> because we pretty much sold everything. We moved out of our apartment. We sold our cars and we put our remaining items in a storage unit because we wanted to live a more nomadic life for a little while and just do some traveling. Or we're just crazy. You decide. Yeah. 2022 was a tough year for us. We'd had a lot of dreams, both of us, that were kind of destroyed. And so we sat down and we said, what are some other dreams that we have? What are some things that we really would like to do? And I think one of them was definitely travel. We, mm -hmm. we looked through everything, we sat down and considered and said, why not? Why can't we be those people that go and travel all around? And it just felt like the right time for us, like the perfect time for us to do something like this. It, all we needed to do was just take the leap. And so that's what we did. We took the leap and we bought tickets to Italy and said, we're gonna go there for a month. And then from there, we don't know what we're gonna do. We don't. We don't know if we're gonna continue traveling internationally, which I think that's our deepest desire. Um, yeah, for or sure. if we're gonna travel around the US a little bit. We really have no idea. Um, all the doors are open at this moment. We got here um, four days, four days ago. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Um, it was the longest travel day I think both of us have ever experienced. Longest for me, for sure. It wasn't actually supposed to be. It was still going to be a long travel day, but it wasn't actually supposed to be as long as it turned out to be, um, which was what? 36 hours. 36 hours. Yeah, yeah. we had... Uh, two eight-hour layovers. The first one was in LA, mm -hmm. and we we decided to go into the lounge because it was Treat eight yourself. hours. Yeah, exactly <laughs> right. Um, it was a great lounge. You could go outside in the airport yeah, with fire pits. Fire pits. It was great. Um, it was really relaxing. And then uh, the second one was in Munich. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one we found these nap pods and oh we gosh. went in it was almost like a tiny home it was so interesting which i will give uh the munich airport like a lot of credit they tried to create an area of rest for travelers they which did. i personally not that i'm incredibly well traveled but nowhere in the u.s have i ever seen seen a setup where there's like layout chairs everywhere so you don't have to like sit upright all the time they had these big napping pods that i don't know they were super cute and they were private and so we went in one of those for a couple hours yeah. and then we had uh, a few more hours in munich and then from there we hopped on a plane that was a short flight here to florence yeah got in super late so so um, tired. Yeah, so we had had like two to three hours sleep in 36 hours, mm -hmm. um, which for us, that's really tough. We like to sleep, so that was really tough. Yes. <laughs> that being said, we have had jet lag, I think, a little bit. Yeah, I thought we were over the jet lag, but um, these last few nights and uh, mornings, I've noticed. I think we're still struggling we're with still the time strong. adjustment. So we're about eight hours ahead of the time uh, from where we're from in Phoenix, yeah. Arizona. We have just been the last couple of days going around the city, figuring out what we want to do and just exploring. Yeah, um, wandering all the time, like with no plans and no direction. We just, that street looks fun. <laughs> Um, which thank God, like Florence is a fairly safe city where you can do that and you don't really make a lot of wrong turns. So yeah, it's been nice and restful. Today we've been finding some places that are very peaceful and quiet yes. and um, not like having to dodge scooters and bikes and cars. Which is very common here. Yeah. We have had to do that quite often. If you're not paying attention, you will be squashed. <laughs> so we have been doing that and um, you'll see some of that in this video. We'll show you some of the city. And we're going to have a lot of different things that we do. Some of them, maybe some day trips we have planned. Yeah. Um, you'll get to go along with that. Some are here in Florence. 
and some of it might just be us wandering and you getting to see us wandering the city and experiencing new things with us for the first time. Yeah. So we want to invite you to come along on that journey. Um, like we said, we don't know what it looks like, but uh, we want to make that available to you guys. So you can subscribe. Um, that would be helpful to us. And um, like on, it, like it, yeah. a, a thumbs up. Like we're back on Facebook. Like it, subscribe it, and if you hit the bell for notifications, you'll be notified every time we upload a video. We're gonna try to do that at least once a week, if not more, depending on what we're doing. Our hope is to do it more. And if you've been to Florence, comment below. Comment yeah. below, let us know some of your favorite things in Florence. Or if you're just, you've been somewhere that you really loved, and yeah. we'd love those recommendations too. We would love to know good places for us to go and experience, whether that is a month, like here in Florence or if it's a shorter trip we are open to shorter trips too yeah but the nice thing is is when you do a little bit longer trip it kind of becomes like your home for that short amount of time so join us in the journey don't be too harsh if you do Jess will knock you out I'll just love you because no, I'm so kind cry. just make me cry Okay, now we're just being crazy and weird and kind of creepy, but. Oh, creepy. Huh? Don't pick Did that cig up. Don't pick. No, it was. It was. Oh. <laughs> I'm hungry. All right, we need to end this somehow. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. We love you guys. Thanks for following along and um, more fun stuff to come. More fun stuff to come. Peace out. Oh, that was so loud. But it just all depends on so we're gonna try to do that once a week. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try to do it once a week. Oh my gosh, can you tell we're so tired? Um, and we're also no. on. So let's go back. All oh, that's being cut. So <laughs> maybe not. We can make some funny in there. But I'm talking about for the actual. Well, I think it's funny and it's chaotic. And so we. What do we do now? As you can tell, our eyes look a little bit red shot. Red shot? I thought Blood we shot. were over. And so, help us. <laughs> so, help us. No. Help us. <laughs> okay. And then this is our little bathroom. Um, toilet and bidet. Um, but this bidet is kind of weird. This is our first experience with a bidet, first of all. Um, but this one's kind of weird. I think normally a bidet is supposed to <laughs> shoot water up and cleanse you. But this one, oh, Michael will demonstrate. It's more of like, um, like a, a butt bath. Yeah. Than but, a butt shower. Yeah. That's what I called it. So like we're like abstaining from using that. Just, it's. Do you want to explain what a butt bath would be? 